Hello everyone, I will uh, present you the new functionality of Robot 2023, which is load takedown. So, why load takedown? If you uh, look the um, deformation on finite global element, it looks like, in fact, the building don't track like this because they are built step by step. So they are, there is not this kind of deformation, even if you can arrive with, with creep, uh, with concrete. So I will start uh, with this uh, finite element phi, classic finite element phi. So of course uh, we can uh, start uh, by a brand new uh, category, load takedown building design. But here I will uh, move this to a new category. So here what I do, in fact, I go to a type of structure and I move to a load takedown. So it will be renamed with a 3D classical. So I will uh, rename it, we'll remove the EF name because it's no more EF. So, but just before, because EF don't use a finite element, I will unmesh all. And then, so I will choose uh, as minimum, so automatic one. Okay. Yeah. So here it means the uh, one finite element uh, for one panel, nearly. Okay. Now maybe you wonder, um, okay, for two ways it's easy. If I use one way, here you know I have one way, two ways. So after you need to define the local coordinates and here you have the x direction which is uh, which will be uh, taken into account so if your slab is not uh, in this direction for example in the other you just have to change uh, in properties local panel direction so here x and maybe here and after you take uh, a direction and after you select the panel and apply and here, you know, it has changed compared to the other one. In fact, you are not uh, obliged uh, to do this. You can uh, go in the option here. And here you can uh, select um, if you want to apply all two ways for LTD, load takedown slab. You can do this or that, in fact. And it will apply for all. So to explain uh, member priority for automatic uh, relation, I will move to uh, the first floor here. So here I have the beam here. So here, now what I do, I will do uh, the calculation. So here you see that uh, all the beam, which has not at the top of the level, are not supported in load takedown. So in fact, here I select them and uh, I will uh, delete them. Okay, so let's run again. So there are still a warning. So here, of course, uh, release for beam are not supported. In fact, uh, it's true uh, for a finite element point of view, but if now I explain you what is here, so it will avoid cantilever. After the priority will be the inertia, then the global rigidity of the beam, and then the, the slab. And here, for example, if I take this beam and I do the object properties, I have this, and here you can see there is a new uh, load takedown uh, properties. So here you have the number of nodes. So here I can display, so 63, 64. And of course, this one is supported this way. There is no other choice. If I look at uh, the beam below, this one, of course, the support is here, here, and here it's a load, okay? And same if I go there, okay? So when I say um, uh, release are not supported, it's it's true from finite 
element point of view, but here you have the choice. And by default, they are simply supported, not fixed. So that's why I say it's uh, partially true. So here is the element. And in fact, here I can change manually what I want. And for example, if I do uh, too many change, uh, maybe uh, I was not uh, in the right direction, here I can restore all default support based on these properties. So now you have seen, uh, let's look at the result. So you can go in result and here there is table and diagram. Let's move to diagram. I will uh, look at uh, loads on columns, wall and beams. Okay, and here I want the value. So uh, what has done a robot? Robot has done a 2D beam here. So he found the um, load at the bottom and it will apply this on another 2D beam where there is, of course, not only the, the element, there is a distributed load. Here I will display like this. Here you have coming from the slab, the element. And here, if you want, you can see what's coming. So here, this element, are what's coming from here. And same, one to the beam, and then put the result on this beam, and another 2D uh, line beam analysis to find here the result here on the column. And if uh, it's not crystal clear, you can move like this. You can do page up, page down to page up, page down to um, if you want it to be bigger or smaller. And after you can do the same in uh, in uh, display. And here you can go down, apply. You see, same way. And here, if you want to display, you can do VV uh, in display, same way as Revit. And here, of course, this uh, value comes from the global uh, load takedown. So here you can look at single uh, story to compare the value uh, who come from this, uh, I would say, red uh, load and not from uh, bottom. So here you can switch easily. Of course, here it will change a lot for this. So here I look at the uh, detail value, but I can look at average uh, equivalent loads here. And to look at the uh, result of wall, sometimes it's easier to look at uh, reduced forces and moment here like it is. I will remove this. So here you, you can see that uh, this wall has this global load takedown, this wall, this wall, and this wall. So maybe sometimes it's crystal clear to have this. So when you look at um, detail value, of course, what you will do is you look at um, the global rate partition of uh, every uh, slab. So uh, if I do this, and after I can uh, look step by step to see uh, if uh, it fits uh, what you need. And for example, if uh, on the first you have some doubt, you can move uh, to a plan view uh, and select uh, which uh, level you want to, to see uh, exactly, uh, for example, uh, if it's really what you expect. So let's have a look at the load on the column. So here I will take um, uh, where there is a more load here. So here, this value, it's what coming from the all upper and from the beam. So it's a uh, top load, okay? And you can lo look only at these stairs if you want. And if you have some dot, you can just select here. And here you have the value. And if you look at this value, here you can click here. Here it's at the top, you know, you find the same. And at the bottom, of course, in plus, you have the load of the column and other things. So now what we can see is uh, the result with the table. So we go here in uh, load takedown uh, table. Here. So here you have all. 
here I will keep only uh, my column here so of course I have the load but what is nice it's here I can see the load and the surface of every uh, level you see so here I have so from the same way on table what is nice is uh, maybe if I come back to, to the beam here for example uh, this beam so with the seven beam I can ask for uh, the table and here of course there is no uh, tributary area from the other level but here if you want to know uh, what is uh, the surface here in red you have it here and after if you want uh, to have more uh, detailed information in table on beam here you have the, the element of the beam loads here okay same uh, when I, I look at a, at a wall or I can ask for all wall but uh, here you have the total load and detail load value uh, if needed and here if you want the radius forces of wall so um, to compare easily let's come back to this column so let's open uh, the finite element file and here I see I have uh, if I look at the same because I want the value at the top here well I could isolate it to have it but here at the top at the top you have 193 I would say uh, tons so here on uh, CBS uh, Autodesk Concrete Building Structure uh, we will do the same kind of analysis here and uh, after we will have the result on the column here so here the same kind of analysis and here I have 234 and same at the top of the column as you can see so now if we compare of course uh, there is less than one ton uh, half a ton between the, the two uh, classic method and of course finite element have uh, less load because uh, because there is wall all around the compressibility of the wall are much more um, low so in fact the column take less load because uh, everyone go according to um, rigidity with finite element so uh, now maybe what i will uh, select uh, maybe I will select uh, this beam, uh, maybe uh, these two columns, this one, this one, because I'm not sure about it, for example. And uh, let's select, for example, these nodes. You could have uh, select more. So here, after, I will go to um, Design Provided Reinforced Concrete. So here for column, I have the, the loads. Here for beams, uh, you have to check which beam are supported or, or not. So here R it's for my beam, so P it's for column. So it's easy, this is uh, not support, it's load. And this is all P, so it's column and i say okay so here it will create um, a chain for column so you will have the top and bottom here the, the result and the, the shop drawing if needed and here you have the continuous uh, beam with the two beam who come in the middle so the two beam are loads and here if you can have a look it's really uh, 
it's not internal forces export from global finite union because there is not it's really load and so we can uh, do the eurocode 2 uh, post treatment for bonding moment that's why you have this diagram and of course uh, shop drawing if needed and then you can have the same for foundation here i will select the stress let's say one okay let's say one and then uh, i do uh, analysis and here i have the size i have the, the result uh, here and uh, i could have a look at the reinforcement calculation note and here uh, i can ask for shop drawing the same way of course we can have a look with a classic uh, global uh, diagram uh, not only in properties like i've done here for uh, here uh, linear element and after for example for reaction you can have a look at the reaction uh, here with a description and here you have the result of every node so when i say it don't use a node it's correct but when you look at the result on foundation you will look at result on node so if you have more nodes it's uh, will change uh, the way here and after you can have a diagram you know it takes this node and uh, uh, linearized and uh, you can ask for average value or uh, integer integral value if needed the same way and of course um, if you put like i've done a column uh, in the wall the load stay in the column but if like uh, on my blog you don't have a column and you have a, a column at the top or it can be a beam the load will go this way okay if it's in the middle and if it's not centrate it will create uh, this kind of sub load so if i delete this here you know and i do the analysis again so reaction come with the node and so um, if you have uh, more nodes so the detail on each node can be different of course maybe the average or the integral will be the same thank you for watching